Greetings. I'm Molly Haskell, film critic and author, and I'm so looking forward to doing a discussion with Richard Pena about film criticism in the 60s and 70s. Um, I was sort of coming of age as a critic at that time, and it was just a fantastic moment in cinema, one we thought was going to go on forever and didn't. Um, it was pre-digital, pre-multiplex. Um, there were magazines, there were film societies, suddenly all of these things were springing up. I mean, the 50s, there'd been nothing like that, basically, maybe in New York and a few big cities. So all of a sudden there was this film culture all around us. Um, we were all reading pretty much the same critics all across the country, seeing the same movies and talking about them. And the thing that really, really made it so exciting and, and that so much was at stake was that film, especially American film, was being taken seriously as an art form for the first time. It had been condescended to in previous years. And only now, I mean, with the exception of a few critics of the 40s and earlier who did look at films, Hollywood films seriously, most people had condescended to Hollywood cinema. So we had this moment where this huge discussion was going on and not everybody wanted to buy into this idea because a lot of the sort of general audience people felt that this was the one art form that they'd come to on their own. Nobody had taught them anything about it. They didn't need experts to tell them what was good. So there was a kind of resistance to taking film seriously, that it would take the fun out of movies, but it didn't. I mean, I think the more you know about movies, the more you love them, the more you appreciate them. And I think one of the things is that the cinema scene changed so much after that, as, as everyone knows, we then had the blockbusters and the, and the Marvel pictures and all of that, that this was a unique moment. And I think it's really important to know what was happening then, because I think so much of film culture that we know today, even as different as it is, came out of that. And there's just tremendous number of critics now writing. There's not no shortage of serious film critics, but because of the internet, it's much more diffuse. It's much harder to have the same conversation with anybody. And that was what was unique at that moment. And we thought it would go on like that forever. And of course it didn't. So I would love to share this time with you. And I think it's so important to get context. I think if you are a movie lover, it's just, I mean, we're always looking at and reappraising the films of the past. And um, Peter Boganovich once said something about, you never talk about old, old novels, the way people talk about old movies. I mean, they shouldn't be thought of as something that's obsolete, you know, that only the current movies are important. So I think it's exciting to give people the context. And also there were some fierce fights because of this passion and these arguments and this sort of dialectic that was going on critics were at each other all the time. And crit criticism also, this is like the new journalism of the time, very personal, very much from the point of view of the critic, the critic or the writer sort of injecting himself into the story. Because we realized that our biases and tastes are formed very early. There's no such thing as objective criticism. It's all personal. So this was acknowledged up front. And there were, I was a member of a couple of film critic groups and there, were, there was actually fist fights at one of them, and there was another incident at another, and I'll tell you all about that will be the, <laughs> the action drama in my conversation with Richard. Anyway, I'm hoping that you'll all uh, be interested and come and ask questions. It's 90 minutes long, so I expect a lot of good questions. And I can't wait to talk to Richard because he was so important in expanding our sense of cinema when he was director of the New York Film Festival. That was slightly after this period. So I, I'm curious to know what his take on all these critics was. He's a little bit younger than I am, but of course he doesn't look it, but <laughs> anyway, so it'll be a sort of, not exactly different generations, but different, different perspectives. And I really look forward to talking to him about that. It was a fantastic time and I still feel like it's with me in so many ways.